What is going on guys, welcome to a new video. So today you can see in front of me, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to become successful at dropshipping, or pretty much anything for that matter. So the idea of what this video is gonna be based on then is that the fact that when it comes to building a successful Shopify dropshipping business, there's three elements. So you need a good store, you need a good product, and you need a good Facebook ad. And to ensure that we do these things correctly then, I'm gonna be showing you two or three ways of finding how to do those things successfully by looking at what other people are doing. So this idea then is nothing new, people have been doing it for years and years and years so I just want to share with you then a couple of interesting quotes just to kind of illustrate that this idea of using other people for inspiration then is nothing new. So the first quote I want to share with you then is by Pablo Picasso. You've probably heard it many, many times. It's quite a popular one. And that's good artists copy, but great artists steal. But then the second one, probably my favorite one is, only a fool learns from mistakes, a wise man learns from the mistakes of others. So what that means to me then is that not only should you learn what to do from other people, but also learn what not to do. Because overall, that's what's gonna save you the time, that's what's gonna save you the money, and it's gonna give you an edge over your competitors the faster you can move forward then that can only be a good thing now before we jump into like the core of this video I just want to mention quickly I am giving away a free one-to-one -one call with me in this video all you have to do then to enter the draw is simply leave a like on the video leave a comment down below um, and then tomorrow the winner will be announced and if you commented on my video yesterday then just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced and that being said then let's get straight into it so as I briefly mentioned in the intro then there are three core elements to a successful dropshipping business as illustrated by this highly um, sophisticated drawing that I put together. And the reason it's in a triangle is because you need to do all three correctly or the process is gonna break down at some point. So just to kind of illustrate that to you, you can have a really, really good product. You can have a really, really good Facebook ad that's driving hundreds of thousands of people to your store. But then if your store looks really dodgy, that you've got Chinese brands, Chinese writing, you've got spelling mistakes, then nobody's gonna buy your product. They're gonna go searching around the net elsewhere to try and find it. And then it works each and every way too. So you can have an awesome store that's completely geared up to optimize people as quickly and as fastly as possible. You can have the next best thing when it comes to a product, but then if you've got a rubbish Facebook ad and you're showing it to completely the wrong audience, then you're not gonna get the traffic, the traffic to your store and therefore you're not gonna make the sale. So. When it comes to having a successful dropshipping business, then you must do all three of these things correctly. So all that being said, then how exactly do you do these things correctly? So what I'm gonna show you then is kind of like three ways of finding how other people do these things successfully. So three ways to find successful Shopify stores, three ways to find successful products, and of course, three ways to find successful Facebook ads. Now, before we jump into those three ways, um, a couple of recommended extensions that you can install on your browser. I think they only work for Chrome, in fact, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, and just a couple of things then, I'm not affiliated and they are 100% free. Um, if you are into drop shipping and you plan on doing this long term, then these are a must. These will just help you out so much. So the first one is Commerce Inspector, just to illustrate how it works. Um, I've got my old Shopify store here. If we just go to the home page, you can be on any page. Click on the tool button and it gives you all these different options and tabs and information about the store. So you can see the theme, you can click on the best selling. Um, graphic here and it's going to take you to the best selling products and then the second one was similar web which again you can use on pretty much any website you can put it in here or if you have the extension it will take you to this page and it's going to give you depending on the size of the store it will give you the more accurate information so this is MVMT watches they are a Shopify store they are one of the biggest too um, and it just gives you lots and lots of useful information um, such as the total traffic so you can see they got three and a half million visits in November so they're obviously a very considerable sized company. Um, it gives you the traffic by countries and then it gives you some information about where the actual traffic has come from like socials and stuff. So definitely two tools that I recommend having um, when doing your research with dropshipping. So now you have them installed, they're moving on to the first thing which is gonna be Shopify store. So the first point I wanna show you is a dead easy one to do um, and simply let Facebook recommend different dropshipping companies to you. So if we just go to um, a Facebook page, I'll go home, I'll show you the process from the beginning. And you just wanna find a, sh a, a random dropshipping company. So there's one here then, Hargo Shop. These guys are quite a big one. Um, and if you've already liked the page, you can simply just unlike it, refresh the page. And then when you hit the like button, Facebook is actually gonna give you recommendations of pages. And the majority of these will probably be unrelevant to be honest. But what you wanna do is go ahead and click see more suggestions. 
um, and what this does is it opens up into kind of just like a u more user friendly thing but it also tells you the likes as well so you can see how big these companies are because of course we don't want to waste our time doing research on companies that only have 700 likes the more followers a page has the more engagement its posts are going to be getting and therefore the more information we can gather about how that audience likes a product if a product and a post has say 500 comments that's quite a lot of information and feedback we're going to be getting from the audience so you can go ahead like these um sorry open them up one by one and just see what kind of content they're posting just make sure it is relevant to what we're doing um, and then you've got these three tabs on the top left here you've got top suggestions which are going to be the most relevant so as you can see a lot of these look like just kind of general stores like trendy goods tumble cat that are probably selling products off aliexpress we've got invitations as well um, i think that is just people who have invited me in fact and then we've got liked pages so these are the ones i've already liked and as you can see the majority of these are just dropshipping pages. This is, in fact, I'm not going to mention this now because this will lead on to another strategy later on in the video. So back to number two then is the exchange marketplace. 100% one of my favorite places to find stores. And I'll just show you why. If I take you back to the home page, um, this is basically where people come to sell their Shopify store. So you can go, if you go on this browse tab up here, you've got all these different kind of filters you can f use to find to find companies but I like what I like to do is use business type or drop shipping and then it's only going to show you the stores that are drop shipping so these are the people doing exactly the same thing as me and you let's get rid of that so <clears throat> a couple of things to note then you want to make sure you keep an eye on their total revenue obviously the bigger they are then again the better chance you have of finding that successful product and that successful store obviously to do 1.2 million in revenue then they've got to be doing um, probably all three things correctly therefore if you go to their site you can find their social media pages you can see the ads they're running the products they're selling etc so one quick thing to mention then is that these private listings you want to stay away from them because you won't they won't tell you what their url is so basically you can't see their website so if i just open this up let's try and find a significant size one um, just to show you guys as an uh as a good example so private listing all on earth 133 grand so we've got big red gadgets and accessories that's pretty decent size um, it'll tell you all these different numbers and all of them are verified by Shopify as you can see so therefore it's legit we know this is a legit company performing pretty decent numbers um, and at the top then it gives us their URL too so we can open that link in a new tab we can go to their website we can see exactly so this just absolutely screams Aliexpress products um, I've seen a lot of these in fact myself and then again we can use these free tools so we can go to straight to their best selling products which we can see are the cycling glasses, the ski goggle cycling glasses and this dust tool as well, I've seen this a lot on Facebook recently. Moving on to number three then, probably something you've seen before but I'm going to show you how you can actually find stores within your niche using this method. So it's myip.ms Shopify, this is what you want to search on Google um, and it's going to take you straight to this page here which is basically every single site that's using Shopify as a platform but you can actually use these search boxes at the top to find different information about a site so you can see Doug Porty this is actually one um, I found earlier just to give you an example um, and then it will take you to its page here so it will tell you how many visits per day so they get 2,000 visits per day which is pretty good um, and then there's a lot of other information here however I don't really take notice of any of that what I'm interested in is that actual URL here so this will take you to their site and again, just one quick look at their products and you'll know straight away um, whether they're drop shipping and whether they're AliExpress products. I know for a fact they are because I used to sell this one myself. And again, then we can use the tools to take them to take us straight to their best selling products. However, I've just realized we are in the Shopify store section of this video. So you, the things you want to look at then um, are like the layout, the kind of images they've used. You can go to like their About Us and um, Privacy Polys policies that FAQs and just kind of have a look at the kind of wording they use and how they structured things because at the end of the day if they're getting 2,000 visits per day they're obviously quite a significant store um, so definitely one to learn from. So moving on to the product section of the video number one thing I want to show you is Chinabrands.com I've never featured them in a, um, in a video before but definitely a website you need to check out so the reason I love Chinabrands.com so much is because this is a drop shipping website it's like a drop shipping version of AliExpress what you have to keep remembering is that end users go to Aliexpress so when you look at the order numbers of a particular product it doesn't necessarily tell you how well that product is selling when it comes to actually drop shipping it because there is going to be a, a, a probably a majority of end users buying it whereas China Brands is 100% geared up towards drop shippers so just to give you some background information 
Um, they are pretty. They pretty much cater for everything, and they're quite a large company too. So there's over a hundred thousand global registered sellers. Um, they process over a million orders per day. Over three hundred thousand different products as well. So you haven't got to worry about not being able to find what you want to sell. Um, but I'm not going to go through too much of this. You guys can go and check it out. But basically, um, they're just really good at drop shipping. <laughs> so it works pretty simple as well in the same way as AliExpress. You've got all these different categories, um, lights and light and watches. And I have actually been working with a couple of suppliers on here looking to transfer a couple of products that have been sourcing from AliExpress. Um, but we're just negotiating things like packaging at the moment because that is one thing where these guys tend to be more willing and more flexible to work with you. But anyway, just to show you a random product. So if we just have a look at this blender before, um, it's going to give you loads of information on the product page. But what I really like about Chinabrands.com is the product information because they, if not written by the suppliers, or it is, but I'm not sure who edits it. But basically, if you read through it, it just makes sense. Like it's 100% in English, and all the features and everything is really good information you can use for your actual site. So definitely um, check out Chinabrands.com. Moving on then to AliExpress VIP link. So going back to what I just said, you have to be careful careful when it comes to AliExpress because it does include end users. But if you use the AliExpress VIP link, then essentially what that's gonna do, if you just search it in here, <clears throat> essentially what that's gonna do is these are gonna be all the products that are being drop shipped. And the reason I know that then is the fact that I do have two VIP links myself and basically what it is is it'll be sometimes I'm not sure why they've actually included the product picture here because then everybody knows what the product is but mine are like this it's just in fact they're like this it's just got like a red VIP thing and essentially what it is is it's a unique link um, and product listing specific to a supplier like myself that only I know what it is so only I'll be the one ordering it so when you start ordering a significant amount of one particular product ask your supplier for a VIP link where it's basically the same product but just a cheaper price now the way you use this then obviously some of them actually tell you what the product is which kind of makes it um, a bit irrelevant really but if we want to see, if we filter by orders then and we can have a look at this one. So this one has got the most orders. So if we want to find what that product is, there's a couple of things you can do. If we just, we can actually go straight to the actual supplier. And then if we go filter by orders or most popular, top selling, filter by orders. So these are all their very best top selling products. So the chances are it's going to be one of these products. Like this is a VIP link and it's in their top selling. So the chances are it's going to be one of these ones above it. So we've, we need to look at the price and then compare it to what is above it. So you can see they're selling this at $1.25 um, and this is $1.69. So that's only a small price reduction so it could it's not obviously going to be any of these products because nobody's going to pay more so it's either this product or this product here so when you do your research then there are quite a few ways um, in which you can kind of reverse engineer the process and actually find out what the product is itself number three then is other drop shipping stores best sellers so i pretty much showed you how to do that in the previous section of the video um, when you find other drop shipping stores then you can simply just go to their pages and use the tool to take you straight um, to the best selling products. So moving on to the Facebook ad section of the video, I'm getting a bit conscious of how long I've been talking for now, um, but let me know some feedback in the comments. Do you guys want really heavily detailed videos that are like 20, 30 minutes long, or do you just want kind of like surefire, straight to the point information? Uh, feedback is always good, because therefore I can just improve the videos and make sure you guys are watching what you want to see essentially. So the first one I'll show you um, is the Facebook ad library. Not many people know this existed, hence why I want to put it in the video. But basically it's just a library. So if I just go back to the home page, the ad library, the ad library provides advertising transparency by offering a comprehensive searchable collection of all ads currently running across Facebook products. So you can put anything in here. As you can see, I've been doing a lot of research myself, just dog. Scroll down until you find a dog product. So I think that's trying to find a dog. Uh, so this looks like some sort of print on demand thing. So dog mums and mums too. We can click on see our details and as you can see, it's gonna give us all this information that we can use. So essentially, this is testing information as well. We can look at who is seeing this ad, who is clicking on it, where they're seeing it too. And therefore it gives us who we could then go out and target a similar product to. So if you haven't used the ad library before, definitely go and check it out. 
Moving on to the second thing then is Facebook dropshipping pages. So if we just go back to Facebook, we can go to Hargo Shop, who are a really big dropshipping company. We can go to this info and ads section. Uh, and then these are just the ads running in the UK. You can select it by country. And again, it's gonna give you the exact ads um, that they're currently running. Now, if you wanna go one step further than that and actually see the kind of engagement and comments they're getting, therefore you can get a better gauge of whether they actually like the product and the ad, then there is one little trick we can do also. So just in the ad itself, then it doesn't really give us that much information. Yes, we can see the video and kind of like the ad copy at the top, but what we're most interested in then is the comments and the engagement because we wanna know if people are actually liking this product or not. So there's one quick and easy thing you can do um, and you just wanna basically just take some keywords from here and put it in the search and hopefully we can actually find the same video. So if we just search for say, put hi go in and then waterproof speaker, waterproof speaker. Um, it's only got one K shares. Let's just go to videos to narrow it down a bit. So there's a couple here that doesn't look like high go, but this one's got half a million views, which is pretty good. I'm just gonna pause it. Um, and what, why the reason this is so valuable then is we can actually look at the comments. And what we want to do is actually look for people showing intent to buy it because a product can have 10 million views, but if no one's saying they're buying it, then nobody's buying it. So we wanna look for comments that say that people are buying it, if that makes sense. So that's expensive, I got mine here. So obviously somebody, you will get this by the way, it's natural for people to come in and comment. You can get it from AliExpress, whatever, but you can set filters on your Facebook page. So anything that, so a keyword like expensive could be put in and therefore it get automatically hidden. Um, again, wish is a keyword you wanna include to make sure it gets hidden. Um, but that actually shows that somebody did buy it. So I got mine for $5. So somebody is interested in the product because they bought it. This person has tagged someone saying they want it. We need this, I need this. So the comments are looking pretty good to be honest. So bought that, dropped it in the bath and gone was my money. Really bad sound as well, so that's not very good. So they maybe need to look at the supplier of it. Uh, where can I buy this? So as you can see, the comments are pretty decent. It's showing that people are actually interested in the product. And that's always what you wanna be looking at is the actual comment section. Moving on to the third and final one then is the Facebook newsfeed. So if I just go back to my home page, now this is a Facebook profile I've set up um, purely just to find products on Facebook basically. If I, um, I showed you earlier in the video my likes, it was pretty much just dropshipping pages and that's so when I go through my newsfeed that all that's gonna come up is dropshipping products. So we can see here, let's make that a bit quieter, some sort of dropshipping product. Um, and then if I wanted to do more research, I could go back into their um, back into their store or I could search for it, see if anyone else is selling for it, try and find one with a bit more engagement. And again, another drop shipping product. That looks pretty cool to be fair. In fact, I've never seen that before. Um, and then just another one and another one if I refresh, try and show you some more posts. Uh, so what have we got here? Some sort of products again. As you can see, it's mainly just high go shop. The amount they post is just ridiculous. So uh, it's dead easy to do. Just simply create a new Facebook account and just go through the process of what I showed you here, liking loads of different Shopify stores um, and just keep engagement, engaging with posts and things like that. And therefore Facebook are just gonna target you as somebody who is interested in those products and just keep showing you more and more of them. So that being said then guys, I think that just about wraps up the video. I've got no idea how long this video is going to be. If it's over 20 minutes, I am sorry, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, all I ask then is that you do leave a like. And if you want to be entered into that one-to-one -one draw to win a call with me, then please do leave a comment down below. And that being said then, let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video. So here we are then guys on my previous video. Um, we are almost at 5,000 subs, which is just absolutely crazy. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do make sure that you do. Um, I do look at the analytics and half the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So please do make sure you hit that subscribe button. So I'm just gonna take the URL then top left, head over to the random comment picker. I'll we'll paste it in there, get YouTube comments. We've got 34 unique ones, which is absolutely awesome. Um, and let's see who the winner then of the video is gonna be. So the winner is SHD. Hi Jack, wow, I actually wanted to ask you this under the previous video, exactly what I needed, thanks. So no problem, glad you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram and we can get that call arranged. Um, and that being said guys, if you don't wanna just keep commenting and trying your luck and you just wanna get straight down to business and book a call, you can do so. The link is in the video description down below. And that being said then, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.